Um, I was wondering, what's F disk? Whoa! Don't mess with F disk. You, you're you tempted to like just type it and see what happens? Well, no, actually, um, my dad got a laptop from his work. Yeah. And every time it starts up, it has to run scan disk. Right. And so the guy at that's work, normal, or well, not necessarily normal, but that's not bad. The guy at work said run F disk. Run F disk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, sure, that would fix it by erasing everything on his hard drive. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's one way to fix it. Let me show you where you find FDisk. I, I shouldn't show this to anybody because this, this, this is a dangerous tool. It's in the Windows command directory. It's a DOS program. DOS goes back a few, there it is, FDisk.exe, F-D-I-S-K. And what it is used for, no user should, end up, should need to use this unless you're a, a real expert. What it does is it's a partitioning program. It sets up the hard drive for use uh, by operating systems, and it allows you to take a large hard drive and divide it into smaller virtual hard drives. It's like taking a big room and putting partitions up to turn it into three rooms. And, you know, when you have a really big hard drive, that's probably a good way to organize it. Uh, the problem with FDisk is it's destructive. Running it on a hard drive will delete the contents of the hard drive. In fact, it'll do such a good job that no normal file utility can recover it. You'll have to send it to a company, and they may not be able to recover it. This thing is a dangerous command. So whoever at work told your dad to do that is being highly irresponsible. Probably what he said is, do run you know, F disk and then restore from the original disk. But what will happen is it will bring it back to the factory state, the way it came from the factory, and all of your dad's data is gone. Yeah, well, it's also it's a laptop, so it you know, I don't even have it doesn't have a CD-ROM, so I can't even. Oh yeah, that, well, yeah, that's. This I guy was messing with that. your dad big yeah. time. If now if it's always running scan disk, there are some pros possible uh, possible ways to fix it. Well, there, there is. Actually, a, go ahead. Yeah, um, there is another message on that above, like before it runs scan disk. Yeah. It says there's an error in config.sys line 46. Huh. And it says the ANSI.sys oh, file man. is missing or corrupt. Is this an old, uh, is it a really old laptop? I'm not really sure. Is it running Windows? Today. What version of, is it running it's Windows? 95. 95? You can delete, and uh, I wouldn't necessarily delete it, but you can go into this config sys. This is a, another DOS program. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in your root directory. Open it up and take out that ANSI sys line. You don't even need that line. That's really old stuff. In fact, in most Windows installations, you don't need config sys at all. What it does is it launches DOS drivers. Uh, because it's a laptop, I'm not sure I'd delete that, but I would, I would delete the line ANSI sys. You don't need that. As far as the scan disk goes, that's supposed to run if the thing was not shut down properly. Make sure Dad's shutting it down by going to the Start menu, selecting Shut Down, and shutting the disk all the way down before turning it off. Uh, if he is doing that, there are some tips. I'll tell you what, to make this easier, I'll put them in the show notes, some things you can do in the msdos.sys file to turn off Scandisk. If it's running unnecessarily, that might be the thing to do. Yeah, thank you for the call. I appreciate it.